Hello everyone and welcome back to another a very exciting chess game from the history of chess. So in this chess game we have Henry Ernst Atkins with the white pieces and his opponent was Herbert Jacobs. Atkins was the nine times British chess champion and Herbert Jacobs was uh, he is known uh, as a naturally talented British chess master. So uh, this chess game was played in London, England in 1915 and this is one of the most amazing chess games, one of the most amazing attacking chess games that I have ever seen in my life. And especially the final position uh, stayed with me forever. Uh, I have seen this chess game a little more than maybe 10 years ago and I said, wow, what a game, what an amazing chess game. Especially the final position is spectacular and a must-see. So if I, if I would make top 10 greatest attacking chess games of all times list or top 10 most amazing attacking games of all times, I would add this chess game in that list most definitely. This is one of the top 10 in my list. So let's see what happened in this unbelievable attacking chess game. <coughs> so the nine times British chess champion Henry Atkins starts the game with e4 and we have e5, d4 and after capturing the pawn, not queen takes pawn but c3 and this is the Danish gambit. D takes on c3 and developing the bishop and sacrificing one more pawn. We have knight to f6. Well, capturing the pawn is possible of course, but it is going to give white, uh, as you can see, quite activity. White is very active and developing rapidly and the bishops is looking very aggressive, showing teeth to the king. So knight to f6, knight to f3. Again, black uh, can choose capturing the b-pawn or capturing the e-pawn. We have knight takes on e4 and then castling and you can see that Atkins is extremely aggressive. He is sacrificing pawns and he is basically uh, developing rapidly. So white is already ahead in the development. White castled and black has only managed to develop his knight. Knight to d6, attacking the bishop and going back. Maybe this was not the best decision. And Atkins played incredible. Knight takes on c3. Well, knight takes bishop and you might say, okay, maybe queen to e2 check and then getting back the piece. Well, he played incredible, incredible, like I said. He played rook to e1, unbelievable. Not capturing the knight. And after bishop to e7, there is no check and getting back the material. Now black is two pawns up officially. Black is two pawns up and also black is a piece up. What is Atkins doing here? Well, he played knight to d5. If the bishop is pinned. So knight to c6 defending and then developing the bishop. As you can see, all of the army of Atkins has been mobilized very aggressively. And okay, so how to defend? Uh, threatening to capture the bishop. We have f6 defending like this, but then rook to c1 by Atkins. So attacking the knight, so defending b5, and Atkins played incredible. Well, in this position, he sacrificed the exchange. Rook takes on c4. And what was the idea of Atkins? Well, he is extremely aggressive. Even Mikhail Tal would say, it, oh, just calm down. <laughs> just uh, relax. This is too much. But Atkins was extremely aggressive. Well, he is removing one of the defenders, one of the two defenders of e5. So we have accepting the exchange sacrifice. B takes on c4. And Atkins played an incredible move. He played knight to e5. As you can see, all of his moves is moving forwards. Now, black has three different alternative choices. Capturing the bishop, capturing the knight with the pawn, or capturing the knight with the knight. Well, if capturing the knight with the knight, I think rook takes knight, and you can see that if capturing, then capturing the bishop is next, which is very simple. Black played f takes on g5, and this was not the best decision. And you can see that after moving the knight, Atkins opens the queen. Okay, so of course, uh, this would be 
the better try, f takes on e5, well, Jacobs is a little bit greedy in this chess game, so he should have considered this move, but <coughs> after knight takes bishop, okay, knight takes, and then rook takes, it looks like knight is pinned, but then developing the bishop, capturing the knight, and queen takes on e7 is possible, and you can see that, okay, basically, black is giving up the queen, White has the queen, but black has too much material for the queen. As you can see, black has the bishop, two rooks, plus one extra pawn against the queen. So Jacobs uh, didn't understood this. Instead, he was a little bit greedy and he loved his queen too much and he played f takes on g5. But Atkins played queen to h5 now. And how to defend if moving the king, getting checkmated, on f7. So we have g6 and maybe knight takes comes to mind because this h pawn is pinned. But Atkins played knight to f6. Incredible stuff. Bishop takes on f6. Well, if moving the king, then black is getting checkmated. So we have knight to f6. After bishop takes on f6, this opened, I mean, uh, this is deflecting the bishop and opening uh, the e file like this. Knight takes with check. So we have, I mean, if uh, moving the king, that is not good. We have queen to e7. If moving the king, we have check, discover check, double check, and then capturing. And uh, this is check also attacking the queen. So this is all over. Okay, so queen to e7, Atkins played, rook takes on e7, and this is a completely different story. Bishop takes, but we have check. And if moving the king to f8, getting checkmated, so we have king to d8. Knight to f7, only move, discover check, double check, and of course, if moving the king here, getting checkmated, so Atkins played queen to e8, and black resigned, because of this incredible continuation, I mean, this is basically the only move, rook takes, and then knight to f7, check, mate, and this is why I have never forgotten this final position and also this is why this is one of my favorite attacking chess games of all times in my top 10 list. Look at the final position. Black is actually 4 pieces up, white only has his knight but it is sufficient to checkmate the king, the smothered checkmate. The king is stuck. So before signing out, I actually uh, want to check out this unbelievable chess game once again. Uh, I want to check out some of the key moves. Uh, okay, let's take it back all over again. Uh, so, every move was exciting in my opinion. Every move was quite aggressive. So, Danish Gambit, also known as Nor the Nordic Gambit. So, very exciting stuff. Very exciting chess. And knight to d6, knight takes, knight takes bishop, not queen check, rook check. And then knight in, bishop in, and then rook over, rook takes, knight up, queen in, knight check. As you can see, every move, every single move is moving forwards. Unbelievable stuff. Rook takes, bishop takes, check, 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 and then checkmate. Unbelievable stuff. One of the most beautiful, aggressive, attacking chess games of all times. But not the most sound, of course, because you know that Black could have survived had he considered sacrificing his queen early on uh, because he would have so many material against the queen and he would have survived. You know the position that I'm talking about, but that didn't happen. I think Jacobs was a little bit too greedy about his queen and he didn't have that understanding. Uh, so that was a great mistake by Jacobs. So, okay, uh, what an amazing immortal chess game by the nine times British chess champion. So I hope to see you next time. Stay safe, take care, and bye-bye.